Hey guys, welcome back to Sherlock Chapter 1. Things just escalated very quickly. We went from let's find who's Kane this is to let's see who stole this diamond to who killed Lord Craven's mistress. And now it's Sherlock's job to try to figure that out. So let's get to work. Alright, let's see what clues we can find here. Letter regarding compensation. Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Yet, I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. So I guess Lord Craven pissed off a lot of people and they may want revenge. And we'll have to figure out which one of them did it. Someone was not happy with his post? Yeah, it's ripped up, so... Someone was not happy with his post? Do we put it back together? Can we put it back together? Someone was not happy with his post? So we'll have to investigate the body as well. But that letter is interesting because we can still uh, investigate it, so. Someone was not happy with his post? We'll have to somehow put it together. Maybe let's ask Lord Craven about it. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Yes, I know. Okay, I'll come back to that letter. And here's John again. Let's look at the body. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. So it was somebody strong. So there's three clues. So far, we only have one. It must be on the face, I guess. Shirt. Oh, there was something. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. So they were looking for something, maybe the diamond. There's the diamond. Is there anything on it? No. Well, there's gotta be something. Well, there's nothing.
It's gotta be the diamond. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. Okay, so she did steal the diamond. Remarkably simple lock. Cheap brass weak lock. All right. Aha, uh -huh. a neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. It's the same moth we found on the jacket in the medium's room. Virtus or Dr. Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. A lot of money for those times. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Someone was not happy with his post. Okay, so maybe we can't do anything with that. So let's see if we can ask Lord Craven about some stuff. I am needed elsewhere. Okay, so I can ask about that. Hidden jewels, let's ask him about those. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. So she was stealing from him. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Well, there's more stuff I can ask about. Do 
Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You... So I can't ask about any more stuff. All right. Know that. The letter regarding the stolen ring. Dear sir, I have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We have to free L. O. Dupont, the servant, as we were unable to find any evidence of his participation in the crime. We will inform you of any progress in the case. Lieutenant Gavro, Marseille Police. So, they suspected or they uh, accused a servant, but it was actually his mistress that stole. Someone was not happy with his post. I'm going to ask him about this letter from the police. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Okay. I can't ask him about the letter. Before I leave, let's just see if there's anything else. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go and try to find something outside of the room. something actually I want to ask him about the ring still do something about it Holmes I I did not do it you know that okay but I know how I can ask about this ring we'll go ask the medium because I think he had this on his jacket as well did you get here? Seriously. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. Yes, I know about the Cravens. Where is the medium? He's gone. And look, and John's at the bar. How the hell is he doing that? He's gotta be a ghost or something. Nobody else sees him. Sorry. Maybe a guest noticed him. Pardon, monsieur. But yes, I am not in the, not in the mood to talk. talk I know. Could you help me? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. I want to find the medium. Because he might know something about the moth. But where could he be? Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. 
They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush! No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Okay, so we have to go to room 225. That's where the medium is. Lucas Galici. 27, 6. Oh, he's right next to the Craven's room. There we go. And John's already in here. That is weird. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Let's observe you. I like those glasses. Bleeding nose. He took a heavy blow. Yeah, he got hit. We already know Lord Craven likes to fight. Slight discoloration. Used a lot of makeup. Trained and sleight of hand. Well, obviously he's a scam artist, so he has to be. Skinny, seems malnourished. Fresh scrapes, slightly bleeding. So he was recently in a fight. Let's see, former thief became a medium or the medium is down on his luck. I think the first one, but let's read what it says. Luca Galici is lean and appears malnourished. His nose is bleeding from a heavy punch. His hands and his thin fingers are definitely those of a thief trained in the delicate work of pickpocketing. He uses makeup to hide his possible gold tattoos. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a recent and short fight. I believe he is more a criminal than a medium, and this is his new way of earning money by deceiving the wealthy. I think this is correct. Let's see what this one is. Luca Galici is lean and appears malnourished. His nose is bleeding from a heavy punch. He uses makeup to hide his traces of illness from malnour malnourishment. His hands and thin fingers indicate that he's skilled at conjuring tricks used to manipulate concealed items. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a recent and short fight. I think he tries his best as a medium, but his business doesn't go well. And he sometimes has to go without food. Strong complexion, scratched wrist, thin elongated fingers, trained in sleight of hand. Yeah, he's a thief. Sleight of hand, I mean, come on. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. Not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's... Uh... Too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. This object simply isn't resonating with me. Oh, where's the moth ring? 
That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewellery. Let's go to my mind place and see what's new. Luca owns a pin in the shape of a moth. Luca and Emma could could have met before. Luca and Emma both have jewelry with the same moth design. Could they have something in common? I think they do. They may have been working together. Let's see what else we can uh, find here. The diamond was stolen during the seance. Yes, we know that. The diamond was beside Emma and Emma was stealing from Lord Craven. So we know that already. So they don't go together. Luca told me that the servants who escorted him to his room manhandled him. While roughly escorting Luca to be locked in his room, the servants mistreated and scratched him. So we'll have to talk to the servants, I think. Luca and Lord Cravens were neighbors. Luca was locked in room 225 right next to Lord Craven's suite. The lock can easily be picked. The lock between the two hotel rooms was weak. Luca could pick it easily. Yeah, especially if he's a thief. Lord Craven stayed in the room with Emma for some time. Lord Craven had to pay compensation for beating the servants. So maybe the servants were mad and they wanted revenge, or I don't know. The thief framed the servants. Maybe not. Emma was strangled. The killers strangled Emma with their bare hands. So Luca's scratches were left by servants. Emma scratched Luca. Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. Yeah, it could be one of these two. I'm gonna lean towards that one actually. Let's see what else we can deduct here. Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Emma was stealing from Lord Craven. Maybe these two. No, they don't go together. The thief framed the servants. The diamond was beside Emma. Lord Craven punched the medium. Emma was a thief but made Lord Craven believe that the servants were stealing. She has done it throughout the trip. Luca could know Emma was a thief. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could very well know of Emma's predilection for thievery. 
I think Luca and Emma work together. Is there anything else? I'm gonna try them all. All the possibilities. The murder left the diamond. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her body. I don't think so. Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Lord Craven returned to the room with just Emma who was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. That might be possible. Or maybe somebody was trying to frame her. I wonder. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go with somebody's trying to frame her. Luca could know Emma set him up. The medium Luca Galici could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for her crime. All right. Luca Galici is the murderer. Emma tried to frame Luca, the medium, for her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. Luca Galici is a murderer. He, could stop, he couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Luca fought for his life. Given his checkered past, if he were arrested, nothing could have saved him from the death sentence. And Emma knew it. It would not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. Now we can't let him escape. Do you guys think he's the murderer? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say he is. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink, all I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Oh, you must be punished. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. 
Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder, and then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm, I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Ah, uh, a figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, <sighs> damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Alright guys, so we solved a murder. I'm glad I was right. Uh, I wasn't sure to be honest. But yeah, it's satisfying. What do you guys think? How would, how would you have solved it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to continue this in the next episode.